This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It. On YouTube and Facebook. Andrew White. The United States is at war, and it is the year, 1849. Andrew White, a known cross and bones member, pursued strange and precarious behaviors by first traveling to Europe, asking for support for the Confederate Army. When Andrew White's attempt failed, he returned to the United States and ran for Congress on the Union ticket. Later he was involved in the building of two well-known colleges, Cornell and Syracuse. His partner was Cornell, and he was happy with assisting in building Syracuse, but was unhappy about the name. Cornell wanted to name Syracuse after himself. White convinced him to build another college though, and named it after Cornell. White became president of Cornell, where he built a mansion on its campus to live, and served as a professor in the history department. Andrew White served as ambassador to Germany, researched the feasibility of the annexation of the Dominican Republic, became prime minister of Russia, served as president of the American Peace Delegate at the Hague Peace Conference, and the American Historical Society, from 1884 until 1886. At one time, White's library held the largest collection of literature about architecture in the United States. He was obsessed with the Reformation, witchcraft, and the French Revolution. Andrew White collected any book that he could find on those subjects. He sent his library collaborator and manager all over the world in search of such books. His collaborator and manager's name was George Lincoln Burr. His sole responsibility was to travel abroad in search of the literature. Later on, White would also become obsessed with the Mormon Church, which was odd because of his views about religion and science in education. White was the first to institute, and strongly believed in, the study of science without religion. So much, he even wrote on the subject, but it was commonly believed to be only a ploy to promote his schools and encourage students to attend them. During this period, most schools taught liberal arts and religion in college. White lectured on the battlefield of science declaring only negative outcomes came out of past interference from religion and science. He also declared religion as a dogmatic theory. Andrew White wrote two volumes titled A History of the Warfare of Science and Theology in Christendom in 1896. An older book was written by John William Draper, 20 years earlier, named History of the Conflict between Religion and Science in 1874. The creating debate between evolution and creation, most scholars and scientists of the period found White's writings false and untrue. It was thought that he wrote these volumes to gain attention to himself, Syracuse, and Cornell. Considering White's obsession with the occult, Mormon beliefs, and being a member of a hermetic organization, it would be easy to agree with his colleagues. When Andrew White died, he was buried within a tomb on the campus of Cornell. On the sarcophagus was placed the symbol of St. George. This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It. On YouTube and Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.